For the longest time, 10 minutes has been seen as a near impossible barrier in 1.16 RSG which won't be achieved anytime soon. Not anymore. On April 19th, an unknown speedrunner by the name of Brentilda achieved the impossible live on Twitch, getting a time of 9 minutes and 38 seconds. That is not to say that this run isn't controversial though. In this video, I will only be showing small bits and pieces of the run which the runner allowed me to do, and I will take you through the reasons for why this run will change the future of Minecraft speedrunning forever. Before I get into the run, I would like to mention a few things about Brentilda. He has never submitted a run to the Minecraft speedrun leaderboards, but he streams the game on Twitch quite a lot. Brent's previous PB was 18xx, but in his own words, he resets very aggressively. Alright, with this information, let's get into the run. To summarize it very briefly, Brentilda entered the nether at around 3 minutes and upon entry into the nether, he immediately spotted a bastion, fortress, and 0-0 chunk bone. What this bone means is that he can use divine travel, which basically guarantees him a good blind if he follows a chart of good coordinates. Divine travel has been known about for a few months at this point, but is fairly rare to get in a run. Anyways, he routed the bastion and was off to the fortress at 5.30. He got excellent spawn rates with the 5 render distance soul sand biome fortress and he was off to divine travel at the mid 7 minute mark. From here, he chooses to use the high roll coordinates instead of the safe ones. The difference between the two is that the safe blind travel coordinates guarantee at most a 700 block blind, but the high roll ones can be as little as 300 blocks, but occasionally the divine travel will be over 1200. After building his nether portal, he was in the overworld at the 8 minute mark, and it is here that we would see the best divine travel in history because not only did he land in the stronghold, but the portal room was right there. Brintilda entered the end mid 8 minutes and got a fast perch, closing out the run at 9 minutes and 38 seconds. What? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my god. So, you may ask, why is this run controversial? Well, I left out an important detail from my summary of the run. He had over a minute and a half of pausing. Minecraft speedrunners use two timers. One of them is the RTA, which means the time including pauses, and the other one is the in-game time, which takes out pauses. Minecraft speedruns are timed using the in-game time in order to combat hardware differences, but there has been a lot of discussion lately on whether excessive pausing should be allowed. Why did this particular speedrun have such a big difference in in-game time and real time though? Well, there are three main reasons. The first one is that Brentilda paused for a pretty large amount of time to fetch the coordinates for divine travel. In my opinion, pausing for this is okay because a lot of top runners can just have their chat spam the coordinates for them, so this kind of balances things out. The second reason why he pauses is to let the chunks load. This is a situation where if you have a better PC, chunks will load faster, so pausing for this serves to level the playing field for those with the worst PCs. The third and most controversial reason why he pauses is to think. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to group pausing to think and pausing because of nerves in the same category. An argument can be made that pausing to think takes away from the speed part of speedrunning and those arguing that kind of have a point. On April 13th, a new world record from a player named Minsky was finished and the real time was 11 minutes and 10 seconds, about 9 seconds slower than the in-game time. Brentilda's real time was 1 second faster than Minsky's but his in-game time was a minute and a half faster. This is where the main dilemma is. Did Brentilda finish the run in 9 minutes and 38 seconds, 11 minutes and 10 seconds, or somewhere in between? Unfortunately, all three of these are technically correct. Until there is a hardline rule for pausing, we won't know. The reason that this run will go down in history as the most controversial world record in Minecraft speedrunning is because the community is very split on this issue. As I stated earlier, some argue that pausing to think takes away from speedrunning, and others argue that pausing is an advancement in the meta and will ultimately be a good thing because it allows for faster times. Another argument in favor of pausing states that pausing due to nerves is an accessibility feature for high stress and neurodivergent individuals who get uncontrollably nervous when on good pace. The counter to this would be that speedrunning is about beating the game in the fastest time possible and nerves are inevitable when put in a situation where someone is on world record pace. There are multiple other arguments for and against pausing but I won't include most of them because they don't relate to this new world record. If you are interested in learning more about this, I highly recommend Carl Jobs' video which will be linked in the description. In my opinion, if a runner utilizes pausing as an accessibility feature due to having a worse PC, that should be allowed. 
On the contrary, I don't think that pausing to think should be allowed because speedrunning RNG based games is about making quick decisions and pausing excessively takes that factor away. Technically, Brintilda didn't break any rules by pausing for over a minute and a half, but if there's anything that will push the Minecraft speedrun moderators to make a final decision about this, it will be the first sub 10 1.16 RSG run in history. This is not something that I would normally upload, but I feel like this is a pretty big thing that's going on currently in the community. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.